Today, I am going to show you how to create a staging vignette for your bathroom. Every time I stage a house, I create staging vignettes using things that I not necessarily use at home. For example, shower brushes or hand towels rolled with a pretty ribbon tied around, jars with salt. Those are things that I don't use at home. So why having things displayed that I am not going to use? I am just going to be wasting my counter space. But I want my house to look like one of those homes that I staged. So instead of using things that I never use, I create vignettes with things that I use every day. That way, I'm not only creating a beautiful piece to decorate my bathroom or my kitchen, but I am also creating a decorative tray with things that I am going to be using every day. So today, I am going to show you how to create a staging vignette with things that you can use on a daily basis, but also in a very inexpensive way. These are the things that I am going to use. I am going to use this gold tray. This I bought at Hobby Lobby for about $20. I bought it gold because it matches the hardware in my bathroom. Then we are going to use this glass jar. This was purchased at a resale store here in Cyprus. And I love to buy these because you can put many different things. But the best thing is that it was purchased at a very low price because it is from a resale store. Just like this other glass piece. I bought both of them at the resale store. Sometimes you just have to keep visiting the stores to find the right pieces that you want for your house because you're not going to find everything that you want on one trip, trust me. So both glass jars were purchased at the resale store just at different times. You have to make sure that you buy to different heights. So this can be purchased at any home decor store. You can purchase uh, them on Amazon. I'm gonna leave a link for a similar item or you can purchase them at Hobby Lobby. Now we're going to use a plant. This is another plant that I saw at Hobby Lobby and I just fell in love with it for some reason. I guess the color got my attention. So you're gonna buy a plant or some, some greenery. It can be, just make sure it's also a different height than the other two pieces. You can see this is short, this is medium, and this is large. And that is the key to a staging vignette. Number one, to use three items. And number two, that they are different heights. So if you buy this one shorter, you can add a plant that is taller. And lastly, we are going to use these cotton pads. These are everyday products. I use these every day to remove my makeup and put some other things on my face. So we have some cotton pads and then we have Q-tips. Beto loves Q-tips. So he can grab them every day after his shower. So, well, we have our tray. We're gonna position it here in the corner. I like to place things in the corner just because that way it's going to draw the eye all across the counter space and then finally arrive to where you have your decorative item. Then we're gonna put the tallest piece. We are going to put the cotton pads inside. I like the shape of this container just because it's like a cylinder and it fits all my cotton pads beautifully see i like to have them beautifully placed here there this is going to go there then we're going to have the short jar and we're going to put the q-tips we're going to put the q-tips there you can arrange them and make them look their very best instead of having all of them messy but i'm just going to leave them like that and lastly, you're gonna put your plant. If you can see, I have my three different heights and this really adds a nice pop of color. The tray goes well with my hardware. And that is how I have created my beautiful staging vignette with things that I can use every day. And it was 
very inexpensive. Thank you so much for watching. This is Maritza Ortega, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more staging and selling tips.